Hello friends, this is the part two of the five part video series that I'm making on my journey towards Microsoft and what was my whole story, my whole experience. In this video, I'm going to talk about what was the interview procedure and what was my experience. Now I want to make one thing very clear. I'm not going to disclose any kind of questions that has been asked. What was uh, like someone asked me or someone suggested me or things like that because I signed a non-disclosure agreement with Microsoft and I want to make sure that I obey by their rules. Uh, in this interview, I'm going to tell you that what was the whole procedure? Uh, how was my experience? How everything happened? Uh, what kind of interviews were there uh, how did i prepare and in future if you want to prepare for any interview so either like technical interview or behavioral interview what are some of the good resources i found that really helped me so in the last video i mentioned that how i actually met the person uh, who was uh, like a customer in my uber and uh, he told me to forward him the resume and then he was gonna connect me with the right folks and which he did so he connected me with this guy from Microsoft. Uh, he was at a director level. There are like, I think 30, 40, 50 people reporting him. Uh, he has been with Microsoft for a long time and uh, very, very nice, very genuine person. I enjoyed speaking with him. So uh, he booked a session for like 20 minutes for myself to introduce me. And again, remember, this is not the time when I am applying for any job. This is only based on the recommendation I got. And uh, then that director reached out to me. Uh, we sp started speaking we started discussing that uh, how what are the things what is my journey uh, how i came in touch with the uh, that person and uh, things like that uh, he absolutely loved my story he loved my struggle uh, he could completely relate with me like he was also from uh, like a sort of similar background like he had came to canada as a uh, an immigrant and then he has been gone through the uh, same sort of uh, struggles that i have i have gone through so he was able to relate with me very well and uh, the thing i liked in that interview is that he was pretty transparent he mentioned to me that hey uh, this is the structure of my team these are the people uh, who work with me and uh, we are trying to fill up some heads so i'm going to connect you with the managers the managers are gonna have full autonomy it's not my decision to let them know that whether they should hire you or not so i'm just gonna connect you with them and then it's up to you and the manager and uh, i'm just like the messenger so i was like yeah it makes sense perfectly right so then he connected me with uh, one of uh, the manager that was working under him and uh, again they booked like she booked like 20 minutes with me and then uh, we had some conversation again till this point i'm not in the actual job process I i'm just speaking with all of these top level guys so typically in an interview uh you, like sometimes a recruiter would reach out to you then recruiter would connect you recruiter would interview you for like 10 15 minutes then uh he or she that recruiter will uh reach out to hiring manager and then you would meet hiring manager and th th this is how normal any interview progresses uh, in the case of Microsoft, it was completely different. Like uh, it was the president, then director and then manager and still I'm not in the process for interview. But uh, like uh, she mentioned that, uh, hey, we have some roles coming up. Uh, this is the online uh, job application. So apply it there. Uh, put your resume and see go through the job uh, position that what we are expecting and what are the things needed see if you uh, feel like you can uh, be in that skill set and then let us know so i checked i it was like a very good role i applied for it immediately and then started like the most difficult time uh, which was waiting i had to wait for almost like a month or two uh, because like in any big company uh, after posting the job typically they would wait for a few weeks uh, and then wait to see that what are the resumes coming in and then reach out to different candidates so same thing happened uh, and then uh, after like few weeks i received a call from uh, the actual recruiter so that is when my job procedure started so the recruiter mentioned and uh, he uh, requested that, hey, I need to speak with you for like uh, half an hour. Let me know if you have some time. And then uh, we discussed about the roles, my experience, what are my expectations and uh, things like that. And then he mentioned that, okay, there is going to be like a panel interview with uh, three folks from different uh, like different uh, areas and your hiring manager will also be there and also there is going to be like one uh, sort of like a presentation where uh, you need to discuss uh, some ideas and things like that so yeah okay no worries about that now one tricky thing happened over there uh, like the recruiter mentioned that uh, it's gonna take like uh, 15 like the actual panel interview and the presentation is gonna happen after like 15 20 days and we'll send you a document to prepare for yourself 
सो आई लाइक ओके नो वरीज बट थिंग इज लाइक जस्ट बिफोर लाइक टू डेज Uh, when the interview was supposed to happen, so let's say say one example, interview was supposed to happen on like Monday and Tuesday. Like these are the two days, uh, two days uh, requested for that. Uh, up until like the previous Thursday, I haven't heard anything or I haven't received the email. So I reached out to the and the thing is, it's not the fault of recruiter or anything. Uh, this these kind of things happen, right? Uh, so I reached out to the recruiter. I said that hey, I was supposed to be in the process and I I haven't heard back anything. And the thing is, like he tried to reach out to me, but for some like copy paste mistake or something like that, my email address was not correct when he sent out that or in initial email. And then like he told me that hey, okay, we we are going to send you all the information right now. so check it out and uh, see if it fits so i checked out the information and anyways i was preparing on the side because i, I was expecting that i was up as i'm supposed to have interview on these two days even though i didn't receive that particular like uh, note on uh, what are the things to go through but i still had like brief idea uh, so i uh, i was continuing with my prep, prep journey there was nothing wrong with that and when i actually got the document i put some time and some more effort dedicatedly to go over that and uh, to make sure that i don't miss anything uh, then uh, i because i still had a weekend and uh if if you or uh, you have been preparing for like few months uh you only need a weekend to brush up all of your skills so that's what i did uh during that weekend funny story one of my neighbor uh he was actually moving out uh, on saturday and monday was supposed to be my interview so on saturday he was moving out and it turned out like he his back the disc like dislocated and he was under tremendous like back pain so at that time my dad and um, me we were here and uh, our neighbors we were all here and like i live in brampton which is like the small india of uh, canada so uh, all the neighbors they know each other and we are like in good rapport with each other so that person he asked like all the neighbors that hey can you guys help me out uh, i want to move into this new house and uh, suddenly my back uh, had this issue so on the whole saturday we almost spent like the entire day just moving his house so i was not able to prepare but thing is i had prepared up until that point so yeah things uh, were not so much worrisome and i was able to keep up with my prep journey uh, on monday the interview happened uh, the panel interview was fabulous like i loved the whole process and you know the funny thing is like in the panel interview uh, one of the interviewers was actually my senior uh, fellow who used to work at uh, rbc in the same team i used to so like but she has uh, worked there like way long before and she has already been uh, away from rbc but the thing is when i joined in i have heard her name like one or two times mentioned somewhere so uh, when we started talking about and i started talking about my experiences at rbc uh, she told me that hey do you did you used to work for this person i was like yeah i used to work for the, his uh, team and she exactly said yeah i was i also used to work for it i i was so relieved and then we both just started talking for like 5 minutes uh just like uh, going into the nostalgia and talking about all the different things at rbc and thing is she was the perfect person to take my interview because she could completely relate my story on the things i have done over there and what were like the uh, kind of team we had and uh, so i didn't had to explain much so which was like a great plus for me so i think my babies were super lucky for me uh, that this happened because yeah you can't you can't predict these things and then there was like one on one presentation but thing is i personally feel that one on one presentation i was not up to the mark uh because i did not had much experience with uh, many of the microsoft services and also uh like the person taking the interview he was like super intelligent like i i actually learned a lot in that interview uh, on what are the things i should study and prepare so uh, i personally felt that i could have done better but the thing is yeah at least i, I still got the job right so uh, that's there but uh, i'm just being honest with my experience and uh after that uh, basically i had to wait for like after the panel interview i had to wait for like 2 3 weeks uh, but thing is uh, one good thing like in the microsoft actions uh, when you apply for a job uh, on the microsoft careers page on the actions website uh, you have this section where it keeps on updating the procedure on where your application is and i was checking it daily uh, so at one point i saw that the application was completed 
and I got scared. I uh, because I didn't hear anything from the recruiter, and it said that application was completed. So I was like, hey, did I like not get the job? Because I was pretty uh, happy and I was pretty interested in going getting a job at Microsoft, but uh, it said that yeah, it has been completed. So I checked online. I went on like Reddit and Blind and asked different people, and they told me that okay, if it shows completed, you should be getting an offer soon. And I was like over the moon when I heard this news that, hey, I'm going to get an offer soon. And uh, at that time, I rushed out to see that what my wife uh, to give this news to like my, my mom, my dad and my wife. Uh, and at that time, this was the exact condition of my wife uh, as like because raising twins was not easy. And uh, like we were like oh, 24 7 up and running just doing uh, different things so yeah this was the time when i found out that i got the job and uh, this is what my wife was doing so yeah and uh, then i shared the news with my mom my dad my wife and uh, it was all well and nice and everyone was pretty happy after a few weeks i got the offer we did some negotiations and then we settled on uh, starting date the compensation amount and everything i'm not going to disclose anything uh, because i signed an nda and i want to make sure that i respect the microsoft policies but uh, yeah that was the whole journey now i promise that i'm going to show you that what is like a good preparation material for uh, for any kind of interview so let me do that so one very good material for uh, any technical interview is the list of questions that I have created. So I bought the lead code subscription. When I bought it, I went over the lead code to see that what are the most popular questions? What are the most like questions? What are the most asked questions by top tier companies? I created list of those questions. So I have created a curated list of 125 questions. Uh, at the same time, with every single question, I have given the names of like some of the major companies who have already asked this question. And what is their uh, level of their question? Like, is it easy, medium, hard and things like that? Also, at the same time, I divided them upon the different topics and uh, created this list. So in my opinion, if you don't want to go over all the questions, like if you can just check out this list, uh, so it will be helpful. And uh, also I have created like my GitHub repository. So if you guys want to check, check this out, uh, you can also check out my GitHub repository as well. Uh, I'm going to post this link in the description so you can check it out this document that I have created. I know that there are other documents uh, online as well and uh, like other people who have done good work. So yeah, this is also uh, an additional uh, setup you can have uh, under your arsenal. Uh, second thing is this is uh, the public uh, uh, website. Uh, from Microsoft careers where it shows that uh, how do you prepare for any virtual interviews so make sure you check this out because it's gonna be really helpful you don't want any interruption during your actual interviews because covid has changed the way we used to interview and uh, this is really helpful there is also like uh, uh, an interview tips by Microsoft uh, a must go document because in this it, they explain completely that what do you need to have uh, in your mind before you prepare for any interview do your research uh, know your competency be honest be yourself uh, like uh, demonstrate different kinds of thinking you have what is the uh, like a technical interview requirements so that is specified over here uh, inside the technical interview there are there can be like different kinds of questions that they can expect and things like that right so make sure to check out these resources i'm going to put everything in the description of the video